Okay, today I'm going to talk about linear inequalities and the common mistakes made. Okay, first one is cross multiply. What do I mean? I'm going to show you an example first. Then you will understand what I'm trying to say. So your intuition should tell you that to solve this, you have to cross multiply. Now, the question now is how? Some people will do this wrongly. Okay, they will attempt to do something that looks like this. And I'm going to tell you this is the wrong answer, okay? So how do you determine which one is the right way? So just remember that the numerator has to stay where it is, basically. So 7 minus x is on the left, it stays on the left. 1 minus 3x is on the right, it stays on the right. It is the denominator that moves. So as you can see, this is the right answer. Because 7 minus x was originally on the left, it's still on the left, this is on the right, this is still on the right, okay? The denominator will accommodate to the numerator. Then you can just solve it. The second one I'm going to talk about, negative terms. So negative terms is something everyone has learned, pretty much, I hope. So given an inequality, if you end up with a negative term here, like minus a, you have to change the direction of the sign. That might mean is change the direction of this inequality. It was more than, now it becomes less than. So in case you get confused, just ask yourself, do you multiply by negative 1 or divide by negative 1? Not just 1, can be negative uh, 10, negative 100. Okay, as long as you multiply or divide a negative number, you have to change your inequality, okay? So I can give you maybe another example, very quick one, okay? So what do I do? I'm gonna divide by negative 10, correct? So as you can see, it fulfills this condition, right? So that means my sign has to change. 20 divided by negative 10 minus 2. Okay, so that's just for question 2. I'm going to talk about 3 now. For 3, it's pretty straightforward. So now I have two squares here, one on the left, one on the right. Some of you will think you're very intelligent. You try and do something like this. You say, oh, I can just square root this and, you know, just square this whole thing, basically. No, you cannot do that, okay? Just doesn't work that way. This is wrong, okay? You, how you do this? You just have to expand it. I'm gonna explain a little bit on this, okay? Because this is kind of important. So, for example, maybe if I say minus... 4 is less than 2. Am I right? Correct. What about minus 4 squared? Is it less than 2 squared? Is 16 less than 4? It is not, right? So this is why you cannot imply from this and say this. You cannot just jump to that kind of conclusion, okay? It's wrong. So I'm just going to show you very quickly because this is linear inequalities so they will cancel out if you take a maths uh, then you have to do quadratic inequalities but for e maths you know your x squared should cancel out if it doesn't then something is wrong okay so you just solve this I'll just make this quick for you so now, what do I do? I divide by negative 20, right? So again, remember, negative terms. So divide by negative 20, I get x. Yes, but it has to be more than negative 4. So that's my final answer, and that's all for today. Thank you.
Hey guys, thanks for watching my videos. If you like it, please help me subscribe and share it to others if you can. I also have a Facebook page, so I'm going to leave the link somewhere around here. Um, please help me click on it and like it as well. Now, if you want me to go through any kind of topics, if you have any specific questions that you want me to solve for you, just send me a, you know, send me the question, send me a photo of the question, something like that, either on my Facebook or on the comments here. That's fine, okay? So thank you for watching so far. I really appreciate it. If you don't like anything, if you think something is not so good, you know, I'm a bit too fast or a bit too slow, you know, just leave me a comment, either on my Facebook or here on the video. It's fine as well. Thank you.